Hey, um, Cropper. I just watched um, Kuro's response video to you also. And um, I think the, the electric universe uh, theory is interesting. And, you know, I, like you, am kind of troubled by the amount of, um, you know, ad hoc additions to Einstein's theory of relativity that are necessary to explain the motion of galaxies, the expansion of um, the universe. Um, they seem to, you know, with the addition of dark matter and dark energy, be kind of throwing into the equation these hypotheticals that there's no way to observe, and so they really only function as mathematical placeholders to make the equations balance out. Um, but when it comes to quantum physics, uh, the astonishing thing about quantum physics that that is not going to be fixed, uh, as you have put it, um, is that pure observation of the material world, in other words, pure in the sense that you do not interfere with what it is you are trying to know, is no longer feasible. It's not possible to know what is going on um, especially at the quantum scale without changing what is happening. In other words, to look at a subatomic particle, we must um, fire photons onto it um, to see it. No light, no see. <laughs> but at that scale, the photons interfere with the subatomic particles themselves. And so every act of observation changes what it was that we are observing. So we can never know what the system under investigation was doing prior to our having observed it. So this changes the Newtonian assumption, which, or, or it changes the idea that um, Laplace had um, about uh, you know, the hypothetical demon who could know or if they did know the position and velocity of every particle at this particular moment in time would be able not only to um, you know, compute backwards in time uh, but also forwards in time such that everything was completely determined um, we now know that this is not the case um, that the human observation will always interfere with the system under observation um, such that we could never know, even in principle, the state of every particle uh, in the universe at any particular moment. Even with a computer the size of the universe, to gather that information, you change the location of those particles. Um, so this is very significant. This is something that physics cannot fix. This is now cemented into our understanding of the physical world. Um, Pure objectivity is not possible.